this video we're talking about addition and subtraction of signed numbers. And remember that signed numbers are just numbers that have a sign, either a positive sign or a negative sign. So every number is always going to be a signed number because it's either going to be a positive number or a negative number. So when we say addition and subtraction of signed numbers, we're just talking about adding two positive numbers together or adding two negative numbers together or subtracting a negative number from a positive number or subtracting a negative number from a negative number. So these are all operations of addition and subtraction that we're doing with signed numbers. So let's take a look at a couple of examples and we're going to plot these on our number line so that we get a better idea of how it works when we we add and subtract signed numbers. So in our first example here, we have positive one plus a positive three. We all know that's going to be a positive four. That's simple addition. And the way that we know that if we look at our number line is we always start at the origin here at zero and we want to move over one unit because we have a positive one. So because we move to the right when we have positive and we move to the left when we have a negative number, we're going to move to the right one unit. So we're going to move to the right one unit and we're going to be right here. Then, because we're adding a positive three, we want to continue moving to the right three more units. So one, two, three more units, and you can see that we end up here at four, which is why we get a positive four when we add those two numbers together. On the other hand here, we're adding together two negative numbers. So here we added two positive numbers, and here we're adding two negative numbers. When we have a negative number, it tells us to move to the left on the number line instead of to the right on the number line. So when we have this negative one here, we start at the origin and we move to the left one unit because we have negative one. So we move to the left one unit. Then because we're adding a negative three, we wanna continue moving to the left three more units. One, two, three, and we get to negative four here. So this is gonna be equal to negative four, and the number line shows us that when we take negative one plus a negative three. If on the other hand here, we have a positive two plus a negative one, so we have a positive number added to a negative number, what we're gonna do is start at positive two, that means that we start at the origin and we move to the right in the positive direction two units. So we start at the origin, we move one, two units to the right in the positive direction, and then we add to that a negative one, which means that we're gonna go back to the left one unit. So we go back to the left one unit, and we end up right here at positive one. So positive two plus a negative one is gonna be equal to a positive one. And these two examples should make sense to us because remember, adding a negative number is just like subtracting. So negative one plus a negative three is the same as negative one minus three. Same thing here, we would have had a positive two plus a negative number just becomes a minus. So two minus one, both of those are gonna give us the same answer here, negative four, and here we get a positive one. So if we look at our next example here, we have a negative three plus a positive two. Adding a positive is still just adding. So this is negative three plus two. Here we're adding a negative number, which we know is the same as subtracting. So we get a minus two. So if we plot this on our number line, we start at the origin. We want to move to the left three units because we have a negative three. So we say one, two, three units to negative three. Then we're adding a positive two. We want to go back to the right two units. So one, two, and then we're subtracting a negative number. So we're just going to the left. This is like adding a negative. We go back to the left one, two, and we end up right here at negative three. So this is gonna be equal to negative three. And of course this should make sense to us because when we add a positive two and then add a negative two, that's an inverse operation. We're adding two and we're subtracting two. And you can see when we simplified, we got a plus two and a minus two, and those are gonna cancel with each other positive two and a negative two. When we add those together, we get zero. And a negative three plus zero, negative three plus zero. We know that zero is the identity number for addition, which means that adding zero doesn't change the value of negative three. So of course here, we're just gonna get negative three. What this tells us is that we can look at subtraction in multiple ways. We said here in this example, we had two plus a negative one was the same as two minus one. So this plus a negative just became two minus one, it became a subtraction. Basically what we're doing is just inserting parentheses in our mind, but we don't write them. So if we look at this example here, we have a negative four minus three. Well, that's the same as saying negative four plus 
a negative three. That's the same thing. So we either have negative four minus three, or we can say negative four plus a negative three. So if it helps you to make everything addition and insert these parentheses, you can do that. So we have negative four plus a negative three plus two, and we could put parentheses around this also and say plus a positive two. Here we have minus four, but we could also say plus a negative four, minus three or plus a negative three, and minus two or plus a negative two. So now you can see we've connected everything with addition, so it sort of takes away the subtraction and allows us to add everything together. So if we now add all of our negative numbers together, we have a negative four plus a negative three is a negative seven, so that's a negative seven, plus a negative four is a negative 11, plus a negative three is a negative 14, plus a negative two is a negative 16. So adding all of our negative numbers together, we get negative 16. The only positive number is this plus two, so we say negative 16 plus two. And if we think about this on our number line, negative 16 would have us start at the origin and move to the left 16 units, and then the positive two would have us come back two units, so the solution here is gonna be negative 14. Now the tricky part here is when we get to subtraction of negative numbers. Up until this point, we've just done addition of negative numbers, but here we're asking to find negative two minus a negative three. We're subtracting a negative number. And in that case, the reason it's tricky is because on our number line, we're actually gonna move in the opposite direction of the sign that's indicated. So in other words, if we go back and we look at a couple of these first examples, we had one plus three. This positive sign, this plus sign here, indicates that we're gonna go in the direction indicated by this positive three. So because the three is positive, we would think that we're gonna to move to the right, and the positive sign tells us, yes, you are gonna to move to the right. Here, we had a negative three, and this positive sign tells us we're gonna move in the direction that is indicated by the negative three, by the number that follows it. So negative three tells us we're gonna to move to the left, and the positive sign says, yes, you're gonna to move to the left. When we have a subtraction sign, on the other hand, we're gonna move in the opposite direction indicated. So this negative three right here tells us we're gonna to move to the left because it's negative, but the subtraction sign says you're gonna flip that operation. You're not gonna to move to the left, you're gonna to move to the right instead. So what this looks like is we're gonna start at negative two, we're gonna start at the origin, and we're gonna to move to the left two units because we start with this negative two. So one, two, and we get to negative two right here. Then, normally, if we were adding negative three, we would continue moving to the left three units. But because we're subtracting negative three, instead of moving to the left, we'll move back to the right three units. So one, two, three, and that's gonna get us right here to positive one. So this is gonna be equal to positive one. Another way to remember that is that when you have negative signs back to back like this, when we're subtracting a negative sign, two negative signs back to back like this will cancel with each other and become a positive. You can cancel every two negative signs. So we have to pair them up and then we can cancel them. You can't cancel three negative signs that are back to back, just two at a time. So because we have exactly two here, we can cancel them out and they become a positive. So essentially negative two minus a negative three becomes negative two plus a positive three, or just negative two plus three. And in that case, of course, we can see that we start at the origin and we move two units to the left, negative two, and then we move three units to the right, positive three, one, two, three, and we get back to the same place that we landed when we subtracted a negative three. So it's the same thing, we've just simplified by removing that double negative.